This show is brought to you by Go Live TV. Download the app now. You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with song. Praise the Lord and hallelujah to a great day in the presence of God. The anointing. Praise the Lord as we come into agreement again and again according to the direction of Christ Jesus. We agree concerning and touching these things today which will be spoken. Praise the Lord. And so wherever you are, I pray that you have been watching and receiving into your spirit the Word of God, the Spirit of Christ Jesus being formed in you. We have preached uh, several messages on the glorious, uh, glorious uh, Isaiah 61, which continues, but uh, fear not, I'm going to not um, uh, bother you. <laughs> I'm not going to go there today, not all together. Um, but but it, it, is, it is glorious in our spirits, in Jesus' name. And so from time to time I will mention it, but today I want to share with you uh, some of the things that we hold fast to be true that we believe in. Therefore, we move in great faith in these things, being steadfast to follow them. Uh, these things that I'm talking about is actually uh, biblical statements of faith. No opinion, no nothing else, just uh, as the word of God is, so we speak. And so bless you today and I pray that you invite somebody to watch with you on Go Live TV and uh, be active. Some folks may not know how to download their app, but make sure you help them and the Lord will be blessed. So is the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So and today I am moving to cover us in prayer. And prayer is necessary according to Isaiah 56 that the house of God primarily first and foremost be a house of prayer so we are a house of prayer and even so we are a house of prayer praise the Lord and so father again today because I believe this covering prayer says so much uh, I spoke it before and I'm going to pray it into the spirit again so that you receive that you receive today, that you receive more. The anointing has more, so you receive more. Just say more, I receive more. I receive more in the anointing, much more than I can think about. And so Father, by your spirit today, by your own spirit today, upgrade the anointing on the heirs of the hearer. Let the blessings and the impact of this word far exceed the reality of any prevailing life condition, regardless of its magnitude. Today, the hearer, any of these conditions, today that you are experiencing the anointing shall break the yoke. Let the great manifestation of the living water quench and water every desert place in every life today. And by the power and the presence of the anointing, command now every devastating form of grieving and mourning sorrowing to give up its ground now. We declare now that every stronghold of fear, diseases and death-like situations are demolished in Jesus' name. 
so be it. And I comment again on the covering prayer, asking, as Jesus said, we have not because we ask not. And so in agreement, we hold this prayer to be the thing that we're asking for today. And first that you understand and be quickened by the anointing, that the impact of the word will proceed out into your spirit and it will actually overcome and overturn any prevailing sicknesses condition or uh, conditions leading to sicknesses. That is the root of sicknesses. And the presence and the power of the anointing is actually the presence of God. There is no anointing without the presence of God being there. We praise the Lord. And so it replaces the anointing, drives out uh, uh, worry and fear. And you'll remember the anointing because you'll remember the day that you were very happy, the service in which you were very blessed, but you were joyful. And you will know that you need to run into the anointing when you need to shift out of one situation, one, one, one spiritual modality, if you will, into another. Because you see, the former things have passed away. In this anointing, the grief and the sorrowing and the worrying, it has actually stopped. You just don't know that. It has stopped. If Christ has spoken, it has stopped. The prophet spoke, the, the Spirit of God actually, here's a thing, as we minister and as I preach, uh, we've known this for a long time, but we have not felt it in the anointing to speak it to you. In order for us to speak to you, the anointing must come that we may speak to you. Here's the thing. The anointing allows the spirit and the voice of God to flow through a natural man or a woman so that it is actually Christ Jesus reaching out and healing. It is actually the spirit of the Lord speaking. It Elohim, it is a prophetic word coming forth fresh from the throne of God being uh, channeled through, sent through a human vessel. We praise God. So, so the, the word of God comes through the human vessel by virtue of the anointing and comes to you to heal you, to lift your burden. That's why we don't do anything. We don't do anything. We can't do anything. But uh, he, hallelujah, is able to do all things, strengthening you today. Praise be to God. So as I promised, I promised, uh, we've talked a lot to you. I've talked a lot to you uh, in the few uh, sessions and months that I've known you. I've talked a lot, but here is why we say what we say, what we expect, what we expected by reason of our faith. We do this by faith. Let me tell you now, if I don't tell you again, that faith, the currency of the kingdom is like uh, uh, the, the, the kingdom's most valued asset. It is not how much you pray, it is how much faith you have in what you say. So tell me again, faith is the kingdom's greatest asset. It's like currency to you. That's what your faith is. So these are biblical statements of our faith. Now, They are two wonderful uh, ministries that um, the Lord has given that, of course, of the church is uh, Bethany Covenant Life Ministries and Bethesda Empowered to Heal is a, 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 a ministry of healing given by the Lord because I think, I believe the gift to be so important that I actually, uh, I, I moved to give God a thousand percent return on his gift. And so uh, I was led to raise up 
empowered Bethany empowered to heal and I I I am talking about Bethesda Bethesda empowered to heal because this is where Jesus Christ healed a man after 38 years and Bethesda we are empowered to heal and so let me say what these ministries do hallelujah and today through the ministries of Bethany Covenant Life Ministries International and Bethesda Empowered to Heal we administer not just minister but we administer the Word of God in its entirety because we believe that the Word of God gives access to every benefit and provision of Christ Jesus and therefore of the Father and the Holy Spirit. I reference Matthew chapter 4 because Jesus coming down from the, uh, the Mount of Temptation where he had an, a confrontation with Satan and, uh, and Jesus con coming down, he says, look, uh, Satan, uh, all of these things that you're putting before me, here's what I'm going to tell you. Man does not live by bread, rocks turning into this, not even manna, but man lives by every word, sustained provided by the Word of God. That's what we believe. And so, Bethany each week, at Bethany each week we lead, we lead you into an understanding of the knowledge of Christ, who is the precise and the, the precise image and the likeness of the Father. And by this we mean his spiritual attributes and his power. You'll remember Paul said that uh, Christ Jesus possesses all of the Godhead bodily. We believe that. You are also led into an understanding of the truth that reveals the pre-existence of Christ Jesus with the Father, working with the Father in all things. We believe that. So Christ Jesus in the Elohim was co-creator with God. We believe that. We know and believe that the eternal Christ was given a human form and was manifested into the earth realm for the purpose of reconciling all things to the Father. You say, well, yes, Apostle, didn't he come to heal the sick and raise the dead? Yes, but he came to reconcile even death. Uh, you, you, let me explain. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me tell you, reconciling all things to the Father. <laughs> yes, he came to set up a kingdom, yes, but by the kingdom, he reconciled all things. Didn't he come to preach the gospel? Yes. But in the preaching of the gospel, all things are reconciled to the Father. Yes. And is your spirit reconciled? Yes. If you then, if you then make yourself available to this truth and to the preaching of the gospel, the kingdom, and, and all that Christ is, yes, you will be reconciled, mind, body, soul, and spirit, totally to the Father to flow in the divine order. This is true. Then, we acknowledge and teach concerning the earthly lineage of Christ Jesus. This then, being called the Messianic teaching, gives insight and revelation into the prophetic words spoken about him throughout all scripture, that is the old and the new covenants, and all the covenants. And so, <laughs> we know and believe that through the messianic kingdom established in and through Christ Jesus, the fulfillment of every prophecy about himself, about us the believer, and the church will be accomplished 
in the earth realm. Why do I say that? I say that because I know and I believe when Jesus taught his disciples, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. What Christ was actually saying is that the kingdom that was uh, about to be manifested in the earth realm was already completed in heaven. And I have come to believe in these, I don't know, 25 years or more of ministry, uh, uh, that, that the, everything that appears in the earth realm, the word of God is already settled in heaven. I believe the word of God coming down to us through the scripture is already settled in heaven. I believe the earthly uh, tabernacle is a pattern of that which was established in heaven. And, uh, and I believe, I believe, you see, I believe one of the greatest things is that Christ has ever given you is a belief system which cannot be taken from you. And so when John sees a new earth, and a new tabernacle coming down, it is already completed in heaven. This is why I can say you are healed because it is already done. Praise be to God. I, I believe that I, I, this will be on the website because you, I'll get a preacher or two out of you yet. We believe that this kingdom work has already been accomplished in heaven by the pre-incarnated Christ, now also in the earth through the finished work of reconciliation and restoration. the pre-incarnated Christ. Where was he before he appeared in the earth, before his manifestation, working with the Father? The scripture attests to it. If you would just study the book of John, which maybe one day we'll get there. I love the book of John. And also in Revelation, you'll find this to be true. He, the pre-incarnate Christ, working with the Father. Jesus saying, Everything I do, do I see the Father do? How is that possible? I and the Father are one. Then we know and believe that indeed Christ Jesus has made peace with the Father, sealing our ultimate and final salvation at his second coming. We believe and we know that the Holy Spirit is the supreme authority by and through which the messianic kingdom is maintained and sustained. But most importantly, that the kingdom is firmly birthed in the heart of all kingdom citizens in whom Christ is being fully formed. Why we struggle to put into words heavenly mysteries. Because a mystery is indeed a mystery given to us by revelation. Whatever has become our biblical statement of faith, it has come by the diligent adherence to the word of God day in and day out. It has come by the power of the Holy Ghost, revelation knowledge, all of the gifts, and by the spirit of our faith and our obedience. So I, 
in the anointing wrote these statements in, I don't know, 20 minutes because these are truths in my spirit from the word of God. And I know that you need to know the reason why we move the way we do, why our ministry is impactful, why I'm able to lay hands on the sick, why I believe and know that Christ has indeed uh, returned to the Father back into his pre-incarnate state and the Holy Ghost has been left here as it were if you were born in a British colony you would understand what a governor is and so the Holy Ghost <laughs> is indeed the governor of the kingdom. He's left here to make sure that the citizens follow the plan of heaven laid down by Christ Jesus and in so doing uh, transform you into the nature of Christ. I'm telling you, not by human effort, no man, no woman, no way, it cannot be done. Uh, just watching uh, 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 a man or woman be transformed into the nature of Christ by a firm attachment to the Word of God all of the Word of God are beneficial to you for instruction and wisdom and knowledge and so anything that is in the Word of God Christ Jesus is able to bring it forth even if it was a type and shadow you see I love the book of numbers because the book of numbers tells me what Christ will be doing for me but I, I can't know that unless I adhere to his lineage and know that he appeared in the line of Judah. And the Bible says that salvation then is of the Jews, the apostles of the Jews, the Hebrew lineage. whereby all men, all men shall receive the gospel, the knowledge of Christ, the power of redemption, the transformation, hallelujah, of a man while he yet live, hallelujah. Not when you die, now. And this is why we preach what we preach. Now, <laughs> I want to talk to you in the next session about something that I promised. I promised to talk to you about uh, the state of the righteous man. I'm passionate about it because one day I, I just uh, became conscious that I did not struggle to do that which was right, that which was wrong. I just didn't happen. But there's a glorious, uh, 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 there's a glorious presence of Christ over the righteous. The Bible, I, I haven't counted them, but they are hundreds of promises for the righteous man. If I were you, I would run into it. Uh, I will be speaking to you in the next session. I hope this has been beneficial to you. This will be on our website. This is not all what we do, but this is the foundation of what we believe, and I believe it'll work for you as well. Stay with it. Amen. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. I have with me the Word of God. I have with me today some things for you in our next episode. I'm going to be talking about a statement of righteousness from uh, uh, Psalm 15, and I'm going to be dealing with the spirit of righteousness. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Stay with it. Amen. Hallelujah.
is worthy. thank God for the instruction that I receive to speak to you about our biblical statements of faith. I am profoundly moved by the instructions given by the Father. I was not going to speak about that. But late last night, I actually laid aside 
uh, the beginning of a wonderful teaching on the righteousness of Christ Jesus to tell you this is where we stand. I have one word here uh, from 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and uh, uh, verse 2. It, it, it says, it's talking about uh, the ancestors. It says here that they were all baptized into Moses, the original uh, Jews that came out of Egypt. Uh, they were all baptized in the cloud by Moses and they all eat the same spiritual food, the manna and drank the same spiritual drink. And, uh, but, but, but some of them did not please God. Nevertheless, uh, they, 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 they died in the wilderness. And so, so, but, but, but Christ, but Christ, but Christ the rock, Christ the rock, even though they did, they could not please God. They did not please God. Yet the rock Christ Jesus followed them throughout their history. And we know it to be true. This is what we believe in the Christ throughout the scriptures. You will be hearing many talk about it right coming up soon because it's an infallible truth. If Christ is now and forever, he must have been in the Old Testament. Now, we cannot be jumping back and forth between belief systems. Either we believe every word of God or we don't. Jesus said it. If you follow Christ, you'll be going all right. A man lives by every word that proceeded. There's an abundance in the word of God, a, a full life system that you don't need to go outside of it. Praise be to God. And so, yes, they ate, they followed Moses. They were baptized into, in the cloud and in the, and in the ocean and all of this, but some died. But the believer who believes in Christ Jesus, the rock, is baptized into the, uh, uh, into the eternal kingdom by faith, by his blood. And uh, uh, here's something that I'll be talking to you about, how he made peace through his cross and satisfied the displeasure of the Father on behalf of those who died in the wilderness, even though they were in the cloud, but Christ made peace. And I'm gonna be talking about that. Well, we had an awesome time at our uh, past crusade and the spirit of the crusade uh, is still alive. It's uh, a reviving spirit. Yes, we had an awesome time and we shall do so again next year. And we will do more. I am led to tell you that um, I believe a healing work is coming next, uh, World Healing Day, which uh, uh, in the coming weeks I'll be talking about, but it's surely going to happen. And so be blessed. My announcer will tell you more about what's coming up. God bless you in Jesus' name. Apostle Dr. Eureka Stewart via email at breakthrough at BethesdaMiracle.com. On her website at BethanyCovenantAlive.net. Use the contact us. On Facebook at Apostle.Dr.E.Stewart. She is on Voice Over the Nation's TV ministry every Friday at 1 o'clock on the Go Live TV app. Thereafter, it goes on to the BethanyCovenantAlive.net website and is available on YouTube and Vimeo under Voice Over the Nation's traditionally a couple of days later. The Kingdom Prayer Watch, Pray with the Apostle. Uh, it is on BethanyCovenantAlive.net. Podcast, An Intimate Chat with Apostle Dr. Eureka Stewart is on BethanyCovenantAlive.net or you can search Eureka Stewart on Apple, Google, Spotify, Breaker, and Anchor under podcasts. The Apostle also releases a kingdom quote every day in English and Spanish and it's available on Twitter. That's Dr. Eureka. Instagram, which is Dr.E.Stewart. There's also a prayer request on the BethanyCovenantAlive.net website. Put the Apostle to work for you. Share your prayer request. She will pray for you and into your situations. And of course, there's also the service. See the Apostle live in action preaching the Word of God every Sabbath. That's Saturday from noon until 3 p.m. at 89 Thornmount Drive, Unit 11 in Scarborough, Ontario, Canada. That's near the corner of Morningside and Shepherd. 
As you join us in this vision, please consider becoming a partner. As you join with us in prayer and in reaching the nations and so much more, we ask you to partner with us with monthly donations or with a one-time gift of any amount. And here's how you do it. You use the donate link on the Go Live TV app under Voice Over the Nations or, of course, on the BethanyCovenantAlive.net website.